It's the third and final day of the NFL Draft, and the Falcons have added three more players to their roster. So let's just get right into it. The, in the fourth round, the Falcons selected Clark Phillips III, the defensive back out of the University of Utah. Phillips finished his time as a Ute, tacking on 110 tackles and nine interceptions. Four of those, he ran back for touchdowns like the one you're seeing right now. The 2022 unanimous All-American will be joining a young secondary, playing with guys like A.J. Terrell and Jeff Okuda not to mention plenty of other experienced guys as well. And although he's a little smaller with a 5'10 frame, he's incredibly strong and should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with NFL wide receivers. But that's not the only defensive back the Falcons brought in on day three. In the seventh round, the Atlanta Falcons picked up DeMarco Hellams from the University of Alabama. Hellams led the tide in tackles, finishing his time there with 261 tackles and four interceptions. Hellams will be joining safeties Jesse Bates III, Richie Grant, and Jalen Hawkins. But let's move from the SEC West to the SEC East for just a second. With the very next pick in the seventh round, the Atlanta Falcons selected Javon Gwynn, the offensive lineman from the University of South Carolina. He started in 47 games for the Gamecocks. And look, guys, general manager Terry Fontenot told the media yesterday that the Falcons clearly value the the line of scrimmage, and that's where games are won and lost. So Javon is the second offensive lineman taken in this year's draft, and it seems like Terry Fontenot and head coach Arthur Smith are looking to have this offensive line locked down for the near future. But with that pick, the 2023 NFL draft is officially closed for the Atlanta Falcons. Thank you guys for hanging out with us all weekend long. We hope that you are as excited about these picks as we are. So like I said yesterday, get some rest and get excited for this season. This has been a rapid reaction presented by Ticketmaster.